So now we're going to perform the limits of stability test. It still has my information, so I can move on to the next. Okay, and then from here I'm going to find my center, just like I did last time, making sure the inside of the feet are each touching the 10 degree mark, looking at the dot, and just establishing trying to get center so I'm going to move forward a little bit and this is the part that you'll probably have to help the patient with a little bit. Okay, Now I can find center without too much difficulty so I'm going to confirm that setting. I'm going to start the test. The test we can do different skill levels so that's a tighter arrangement which is going to be easier. That's broader, which is more difficult. It always starts you on the middle one, which is a, a, a good place to be. And then from here, we're going to hit start. No hands, of course. Okay, I'm going to press this. It's going to so I'm going to try to go and get that ball. You got to stay in there for a second. Come back. Get the other one. Come back. This is going to continue until I've gotten all of those. This is recording my time and my accuracy. My time's not good. My accuracy is 89%. Took me 32 seconds to do that. And then it's giving me a little bit of a rest and it's going to ask me to do that two more times. We press that. You can have the patient press the, the, the reset button also. So my accuracy dropped down a little bit, 82%. Only took me 31 seconds though, so speed is increasing, accuracy is suffering a little bit. I'm going to collect the last round of data. What did you get? 125? Yeah, that happened. My daughter made a cake, Jim. It was three recipes. One, the cookie dough recipe so, that went into the center of this cake. The second recipe was this from scratch. She did this all from scratch. It was just kind of a white cake. And then the third was the, the uh, frosting. To me, that from scratch. And then, which is all Okay, 81%, 33. So now I get my results. So overall, my, my score was 84. 65 would be a good score, so that would be something that a person probably would not have to work on since the score is, you know, is better than average on that. Again, you can save the results if you wanted to compare it at a later date. You can print this uh, for the chart and or the patient. Okay. I'm going to 